<laughs> Thanks, Janelle. <now. laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna do a warm up, full body warm up before we move into our core section. So make your way to your feet, spread out. We're gonna start by doing some hops and jumps and things like that. So we're gonna start with feet together and we're gonna put your arms over your head and we're gonna do some hops. So squeeze your butt, elbows straight, reach for the side. Push through your toes and your ankles so you're not bending your knees. And turn those hops into jumping jacks. And we're gonna keep doing jumping jacks but with some arm variations. So from here, arms are gonna come to the front. Let me open, beautiful. And now we're gonna do opposite arms. So one arm to the front, one arm to the side, and then you switch. Alternating decks, nice. Keep it going, we're gonna do rainbow jacks. So hands together, they're gonna open all the way up in a circle while your feet are opening and closing. Very nice. And change direction, other side. Awesome. And hands up, jumping jacks. Hands up to the side. Hands down. One arm to the front, one arm to the back. Whoa. And then you're gonna switch. One arm front, one arm back. Jacks. Very nice. And stop. Shake it out. Shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. Ooh, give it a little wiggle. Very nice. All right. From here, we're gonna do some shoulder circles. Roll your shoulders back. Nice. And we're gonna take one arm, it's gonna circle back at a time. And every time you reach back, you're leaning in that direction too. Big reach behind you. Awesome. Now you're gonna take it forward. So you're still leaning, but reaching forward with your arm. And we're gonna change it one more back, one more time to the back. Big reach, maybe bend a little farther with your legs. Awesome. And other direction, reach forward. Bigger lunge. Nice. And down. Alrighty, we're gonna take some knee circles. So balancing on one foot, you're gonna lift your knee up to the front, open knee out to the side. Switch direction. Sweet, and switch. Other knee. Lift it up super high in the front. Keep it high as you bring it out to the side. Change direction. Awesome. All right, hands on your hips. We're gonna do some hip circles. Let's make them a little bit bigger. And even bigger. <laughs> Maybe get a little knee bend in there. And change direction. We're gonna start with the big hip circles. And slowly we're gonna make them a little bit smaller until we get to our normal circles. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do some kicks here. So you're gonna plant one leg in front of you in a lunge, back leg is straight. Your back leg's the one that's gonna be kicking. So I'm gonna have one leg in the front, opposite arm to the front. And when I kick my back leg, I'm gonna switch my hands and plant back into my lunge. Opposite arm, opposite leg, switch and kick, bring it back. Good. For these kicks, think about having two straight knees. Instead of kicking as high as you can and bending your bottom leg, only kick as high as you can where you have two straight legs. Awesome. And other side. Plant your other leg in front. Find your lunge. Opposite arm to the front. Switch the arms when you kick. Maybe some of you can reach for your toes in front. But remember, two straight knees. One more. Great, give it a little shake. All right, we're gonna bring it down a little lower. Make it nice green. Okay, we're gonna take it down though. Take a second to 
Open up your hips here. And when you're ready, you're going to straighten one leg out to the side. My other foot, I'm trying to keep my heel down. You can flex and point this foot of the straight leg. Nice. And we're gonna walk it over to the other side. Again, flex and point that foot. And let's do a few where you're going back and forth. So you can either trace your hands down on the floor, or if you wanna go hands free, you can do that too. Just keep your hips nice and low. Awesome. Make your way back up to standing. We're gonna do a quick little wrist here. So we're gonna do some finger flicks. Hands out in front of you, finger flicks. I'm pushing my fingers through my thumbs so it makes a sound here instead of like talking hands. And take those finger, ugh, finger flicks up over your head. Make them a little faster. Arms out to the side, finger flicks. Good, back to the front, even faster. Oh, nice, and take it out. Beautiful. We're gonna take it back low. We're gonna do some gorilla passes here. Um, so we're gonna find this position on the ground again. Um, we're gonna do a little weight transfer. So I'm gonna transfer from one bent knee over to the other side, place my hands on the floor, push down into the floor, and switch my legs back over. And then I'll go in the other direction. So bring your hands next to your foot, push down into the floor to switch your feet, and transfer the weight. We're trying to make this really soft on your feet so they're not slamming hard down into the floor. Good. And if you would like to do a little kick through this, I'll show it from this direction so you can see. You can do the same thing, reach your hands, do a little kick, kick to your butt, and bring it back. We're not trying to go to a full handstand here, but think about keeping your knees into your chest, a little butt kick, and back and forth. Thanks. Bring it back to standing. I got one more little variation for you. So we're gonna start standing. We're gonna give it a little spin. So I'm standing on one side of my floor. To my left, I have a lot of space. So I'm going to turn to the left. Woo! Plant my feet, bring it down, do my little gorilla crawl, and stand back up. Then I'm gonna twist to the other side, plant my feet, reach down, gorilla across. Twist, plant, reach across. Woo! Nice. One more each side. Nice, guys. All right, shake it out. Beautiful, okay. We're gonna move into our core section and we're gonna start with some one, two, three sit-ups. So I'll show you first and then we can do it together. For our one, two, three sit-ups, you have three positions. Position number one is a little crunch. Shoulders off the floor. I'm trying to get my shoulder blades up or around my back. Position two is halfway up. I'm trying to be a little flatter here. And position three is all the way sitting up at the top. And then going backwards, three is straight up, two is halfway down, one is your little crunch. And when I say down, then you can rest. Yeah, so we're just gonna follow along, torture ourselves a little bit, and here we go. So find yourself in number two, number two position. You can put your arms out in front or the side if you want a little harder, and one, little crunch, and two. Take it to three, down to one, hold, back to three, one, and down. Nice. Here we go again. Three, all the way up. And one, three, and two. From two, maybe you can bring your arms up over your head a little bit. Oh, back to three, down to one, back up to three. And down, all the way down. Oh, nice job. And one. Shoulder blades off the floor. Three. One. Three. Two. Hold your two. 
Maybe in your two, you lift your feet off the floor. And one, three, and down. Nice job, guys. We're gonna do two more of those. You got this. Ready, three, and one, two, one, two, three, one, one, <laughs> one, and down. Nice job. One more time. Here we go. And two, three, two, back to three, one. Find your one position with legs straight in front of you. Woo. Bring it up to two with your left feet off the floor. Bring it to three with your feet off the floor. Oh, back to one with feet down. Back to three with feet down. And rest. That was great. Good job, guys. Okie dokie. Moving on to our next one. We're going to do some windshield wipers. So we have two variations that we're going to do for these. I'll show you first. We're going to do some bent knee windshield wipers, which is laying on your back. Knees are bent about 90 degrees, hands down on the floor. And you're going to try to bring your knees to the side. Whoop. And then back to the center. So I'm not resting my knees on the floor. I'll turn this way so you can see too. But I'm trying to hover my knees just above the floor and then come back up. When I bring my knees out to the side, my opposite hip is lifting off the floor and bringing it back, trying to keep everything nice and tight. So find yourself on the floor here. Bend your knees, hands on the floor for some support. And here we go, over to one side and back to the other side. We're gonna do 10 of these, so back and forth is one. Here we go for number two, to the other side, and three, other side, four. Keep squeezing your knees together and your ankles together, and five. Nice job, guys, keep it going, and six. Pressing your low back into the floor when you pass through the middle. And seven. Keep going. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Hover even a little closer to the floor for number 10. Other side. And shake it out. <sighs> Very nice. Okay. One more time, but we're gonna do this with straight legs this time. So now that my legs are straight, they're gonna be a little bit heavier. So my arms are gonna go straight up to the side, gives me a little more support. Straight knees, point your toes. I'm just gonna try to keep in this straight line as I lower my legs down to the floor, and then I'm gonna lower them to the other side. Try not to bring your feet, you know, up towards your hand or down away from it. Try to keep it in this center line over your hips, yeah? All right, arms out to the side, tight knees, pointy toes, and here we go. Over to one side, one, and the other, and two. Other side, strong arms into the floor, three, and switch, keep going. Four, other side, squeeze feet together, five, other side, knees straight, six, you got it, almost there. Seven. And this is eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. And a 10. And relax. <sighs> awesome. Nice work, you guys. Let me just do a quick little time check. Great, okay, we're gonna do one more exercise for you. So. We're gonna do some hollow and arch holds here. So for my hollow hold, I'm gonna have my arms straight over my head, low back pressing into the floor so there's no tunnel. Feet aren't too high, they're, they're low to the floor, but only when I'm pushing my back down. Sometimes if you let your feet go too far, you'll create this little tunnel. So we're gonna go from a hollow shape. We're gonna go over to our belly legs together into an arch hold, Superman, straight arms. It's kind of like lava, 
where you're not trying to touch your hands or your feet on the floor. You're only trying to touch your torso. Yes, you got this. Okay, make your way to the floor. I'm gonna turn, when I call my cues, make, maybe turn yourself so that we're gonna roll towards your computer or away from the computer so that we can do that together instead of left and right. Ready, find your hollow position, arms straight, feet together, squeeze your booty, and we're gonna roll towards the computer. Find your Superman shape, arms are still straight, cover your ears, and roll back to center, away from the computer. Nice, the legs are still squeezing. And keep rolling away from the computer. Find your Superman, squeeze your heels together. Back to center. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Ready, nice. We got this one more time. Same thing, but we're gonna do it in a star straddle shape. So arms are out, legs are out. We'll roll to our Superman, but legs are staying apart. Ready, find your straddle star hold. Arms are still straight, legs are still straight. Roll towards your computer, maintain your legs apart in a straddle. And hold your surface. And roll away from the computer back to center. Legs are still apart, arms are still straight. Keep rolling away from your computer to your belly. Lift your arms and legs off the floor. Roll back to center towards the computer. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Yay! Good job, friends. I think that concludes my time. Yes, it does. So I'm gonna pass it over to Anastasia. Great job, everybody. She's gonna take us into our high intensity interval training. Hi, friends. It's me. Um, I'm going to quickly tell you about the sets that we're going to do. And if you were with me in the past, this is gonna be a very similar format where we have four groups of exercises and each exercise in each group we're going to do for 20 seconds and we're going to do each exercise twice in between the groups you will have a 30 second rest you have the option of jogging that entire time if you want to really keep your heart rate up and all that kind of good stuff or you can rest um, walk around breathe sit down, um, whatever it is you need to do. So while you are taking a quick break right now, I will demonstrate all the exercises. A few of them repeat, we just do one on each side. And if you need to practice any of them, now's the chance. I have this on big screen, I'll try to keep an eye out. Uh, the first set are going to be lunge switches, butt kicks, and a side to side jump. So, um, Lunge switches, you can either use an object for balance, or I like to just do these with hands on my hips. If you want more challenge, try to go pretty low in your lunge and switch every time. Okay, lunge switches. If you want a little less challenge, don't go quite as low. Okay. Then butt kicks, you're running and you're trying to kick yourself in the butt. And for the side to side, we're going to jump as if there's a small fence right here. And you're going to jump over your fence and land and jump over your fence and land. That's going to be set number one. And I'll remind you of each of these exercises before each set. The second set will be squat jumps and leg pulses. Squat jumps are squat, jump. <laughs> Make sure that your knee and your toes are pointing in the same direction. Don't do weird things with your ankles. For the leg pulses, you have two options. Option number one is a bent knee leg pulse. I'm starting at 90 degrees from my hips and I'm trying to lift up a little bit. You can add challenge by pressing into your own thigh as you do these. Option number two is the same thing, but with the legs straight. Obviously, the straight leg will add more weight and this will make the exercise harder. For the first set, we'll do our pulses with the leg in front. For the second set, we'll do them out with the leg to the side. Make sure that the leg is externally rotated when you do them out to the side. Okay, again, I'll call those out. For the third set, we're going to do a backwards leg pulse. 
For these, you wanna make sure that you're really rounding your back. And I'm starting with the one leg behind. I'm trying to just use my butt to lift. These are gonna be fast little pulses. You can also hold on to something for balance if you need to. We're gonna do one side, other side. And then we're gonna do some toe lifts, which I remember was a crowd favorite. I'm gonna zoom into my toes. I'm trying to stand nice and still, and I'm trying to lift very quickly, like I'm tapping my toes on the floor. Tap, 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 tap. And the last set is gonna require us to come down to the floor. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate. We're gonna get into our hands and knees. We're going to do a fire hydrant. Option one, just simply lifting and lowering the leg. Option two, keep your leg lifted and straight and bend the knee for the entire time. We'll do one leg, other leg. And for the last thing, we're gonna do leg lifts. Laying on the floor, you can tuck your hands under your sacrum to help keep your pelvis tucked. And we're lifting the legs. I'm trying to stay within this degree of range. I'm trying not to go all the way up to 90, but you can if you need to. To make this harder, don't tuck your hands under your hips and just go straight from here. All right. I have an interval timer that's going to beep and I will tell you when to switch each exercise as well and I'll remind you what we're doing. All right. Is everyone about ready? Cool. Excellent. Our first set are going to be our lunge switches, our butt kicks, and our little jump side to side. We're gonna switch every 20 seconds. Everyone ready? Begin in two, one. Start with our lunge switches. Nice job, everybody. Remember, lower is harder. Ready to switch in two, one, butt kicks. Feel free to do fun stuff with your arms if you want. Ready to switch in two, one, jumps. Remember, there's a small fence or something. I'm gonna get to the other side. Nice. Again, fancy arms are encouraged. All right, we're gonna go back to our lunge switches in one second, go. You got this. Butt kicks. In three seconds, go. And jump the fence, go. Rest in two, one, rest. Breathe, get water, keep moving if you want to. Next we have squat jumps and our leg pulses. We're gonna do one leg, other leg, left or right, you pick whichever one you wanna go first. For the first round, the legs in front. For the second round, the legs out to the side. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Five. Begin, squat jumps. Again, do whatever you want with your arms. Just nothing too obscene, I can see you. Good, and leg pulses out in front for this first one, go. Try to keep your hips square. Try not to let that lifted hip really hike up. Alternatively, remember you can do this with a bent knee. 
Two seconds to the other side and switch. Try to keep that staying like straight and strong. Stay tall through your spine. Good, back to squat jumps in two, one, go. The lower you go, the harder this is. Nice job, everyone. Good, legs. This time we're out to the side. Remember, if your leg is down here, that's still fine. Do what you gotta do. Alternatively, bend the knee. Try to use your butt here. Good, other leg. Yeah, very nice, everyone. Really trying to keep that external rotation. Two, one, rest. You get 30 seconds. I'm doing okay so far. All right, next set. We're gonna be doing our backwards leg pulses, one leg, other leg and then we're gonna do toe lifts. So remember, you can use something for balance for this one if you need to. Stay rounded in your back. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. First leg, go. So I'm staying rounded. I'm trying to just to use my butt. These aren't big lifts. I'm trying to use that glute hamstring connection. Under butt, the butt smile the glammy, the butt. Do you know any other names for it? Switch legs. If you do, let me know. Good, and then we're gonna switch to our toe lifts and go. So I'm just quickly tapping my toes on the floor. You should start to feel these rather quickly in your shins. For those aerialists out there, ankle hangs and toe hangs. This is what you're strengthening right here. Good, switch back to your kicks. First leg. I'm staying rounded to keep it out of my low back. I don't wanna use my back muscles here. This is about the legs. Good, leg two. Of course, for added challenge, you can always do these with like ankle weights, but for now, you're doing awesome. Good, and toe crunches, toe lifts, toe raises, whatever you want to call these. Ah. For five, four, three, two, one, rest. You guys are doing awesome. We're moving to the floor for the next set. Remember, we're gonna be doing our fire hydrants with the leg out to the side and our leg lifts. So one leg, other leg, leg lift, and then we'll repeat all that. Okay, remember you also have the option of just lifting or keeping it lifted and straightening and bending. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Lift your first leg for fire hydrant. Try to really squeeze that side butt, try not to lean too much. Nice. So good. And switching to the other side, go.
And then switching to our leg lifts. Go. I'm flipping over. Remember, you can use your hands under your sacrum if you need to. Otherwise, hands out. You can relax your head. I'm just looking at my clock. Good. Back to fire hydrant. Side one. Go. Great job, friends. Y'all are looking really good. Other side, begin. Keep kicking my couch. And leg lifts, begin. We're almost there, almost done, five seconds. Great job. That's it. <laughs> Excellent work, everybody. Hopefully you worked up a little bit of a sweat. I worked up a little bit of a sweat. I'm a little out of breath. We are, I'm going to pre-introduce Staza. Staza is next, but first we're gonna take a quick little break grab some water. If you need to use the bathroom, go do that now. Um, we normally break for like three minutes and Cressy, you can confirm or deny. And then Stas is gonna take us away. Thank you so much guys. Yeah, I will bring you guys back in from break in just a few minutes. And for anyone who's interested in donation information, I'm out of breath, you guys kicked my butt. I'm going to put that up on the screen now, hopefully. I'm learning how to use screen share. So this should work. I think it's working. See you guys in a few minutes.
just one more minute and we'll come back and yeah. Sweet. I hope y'all had a great break because Staza is going to pump it up and uh, Staza is badass. So I have a feeling it's going to be hard. Um, and I just want to say we have broken 40 participants officially with this class. So, wow, I have never been able to take a class with 40 other human beings. This is really, really cool. Thanks for being here. And Sazo, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi, guys. Like Cressy said, we're going to pump it up. And this is all about our chest and our arms. There's a little back happening. Um, I hope that you don't hate me because I kind of hate myself for being created. Um, but you know, we're all in this together. So we're gonna get started with everybody's absolute favorite exercise, burpees with a push-up. Yeah, that's right. Please feel free to go onto your knees for the push-up if you need. We're gonna do lots of push-up variations. So anytime you need to modify for your body, please listen to it, okay? But we're gonna do 10. Burpee up, these are these little guys. Straight up jump, come down, out, boop, push up, boop, in, and jump. We're gonna do 10 as fast as we can. And I probably won't be able to talk during it. So we're just gonna go, 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 okay? Ready? Let's do it. You guys, I forgot one of the push ups. Don't be like me. Remember your push-ups. <laughs> Don't cheat. This is my last one. Meet me up. Yes. Aha. Great job, you guys. I am very proud of you for something. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't forget your push up like I did. And you weren't naughty. Okay. We're gonna do. <sighs> it's all a hit. We're gonna do um, some staggered arm push ups. That's right. Arm position for this is like so. One arm is like this, one arm is like this. So they are staggered. This hand is kind of in line with my forehead. This hand is in line with my shoulder. Yep, it's this very weird staggered motion. We're gonna get into our push-up position. Once again, you can take a knee or you can go on your toes. We're gonna go down and up. Should feel a little strange, but if you have any questions, watch me. Hopefully the video will help this position. Hand to forehead. Other hands coming in. So this is like a tricep push-up. This arm's doing kind of like a wide arm push-up. We're gonna do five on each side. Okay, ready, a go. Switch sides. So other hand goes in front, other hand stays back, and go. And done. Nice job, you guys. I know those aren't really weird, but they're funner than just your average old push-up, I hope. We're gonna do some Spider-Man push-ups next. So what that is, is as I come down, I'm gonna lift a knee up. So I'm coming down, my knee's gonna come up to touch my elbow as I push back up. Yeah. You can do these from your knees again. Whatever is clever for you and your body. We're gonna do uh, eight total. So it's gonna be four on each leg. Are you ready? Let's do it. Be the Spider-Man. You are a superhero. 
Or maybe you're just a spider. I don't know. I like spiders. One more each side. You got this. And done. Nice job. I'm going to check my timey time here as we move on to the next thing. Okay. We're going to give our chest a little break. And we're going to go into our triceps. So we're going to do the Hershey Kiss Squish. Yay. And make your Hershey Kiss. <laughs> so your Hershey Kiss is your forefinger and your thumbs touching. So it's a little triangle, but I like to think of it as chocolate. Because in that way, you're just trying to eat the chocolate. Much more motivating. We're going to get into a down dog position with our fingers touching that little triangle. Wherever your dog is, mine's not too far. You can be more forward or more back. Whatever. Legs can be wide. Legs can be closed. But we're going to come down, try to touch our foreheads, and push back up. Yeah? We're going to squish that Hershey kiss into the ground. Or you can try to eat it. Whatever is your motivating factor. We're going to do 10 of these all together. So assume your position. And I'll begin. Squish that kiss. And ten. Nice job, you guys. You have earned all of the chocolate in the world after this. So you go and you eat it. Okay, we're going to do tricep dips next. Come to your booty. That nice booty that Anastasia just made burn. We're going to face fingers towards our body. Boop. Rise those hips up. Boop. We're going to lower with our elbows and push back up. Yup. Little dips. We're going to do 10 of these all together. Ready? Let's go. So now you're just squishing something with your butt instead of your face. You just like are the squish master today. And 10. Nice job, you guys. We have one more tricep exercise, which I find extremely hard. So therefore, it must be good for me. <laughs> Maybe this will be way easier for you. I hope so. We're going to come onto our sides. Knees touching, ankles touching. I have a little bend in my legs. I'm laying. I look very casual. Well, this is not very casual. Front hand is going to go across the body. Bottom hand is going to wrap around to grab your waist. This hand's going to push up and lower down. Push up and lower down. Trying not to use any other part of my body to do this, but my arm. Okay, we're gonna do five on each side. Ready, let's do it. You guys look so good. It looks so much easier for you than it feels for me. Ah. Let's switch sides. Oop -a -doo. Do -do -do. Okay, you're your sexy beach, whatever you wanna be on the beach that's sexy. I like seals. Okay. Hands gonna come in front. Other hands gonna grab around you. We're gonna do five. Ready? Let's go. Nice. You guys look so good. Last one. And down. Great job, you guys. That looked way easier for you than it felt for me. But that's okay because our triceps are done. Put those away for now. We're gonna go to doing some supine lat push-ups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay flat on the ground. I'm gonna tee my arms out like so. So I'll pretend that I'm on the floor. I'm gonna squeeze my elbows in, using my back muscles to pull up, trying to lift my shoulders off of the ground. It looks like so. I don't go very far, but I have just enough that I'm rising up, but I'm not pushing with my hands down. I'm purely using those upper back muscles to squeeze and draw everything up. 
You're like a pyramid. You're getting built. You're rising to the sky. It's beautiful. We're going to do 10 of these. Ready? Squeeze. And squeeze. Nice. Try to get those shoulders off the ground. They're going places, but your elbows are so heavy. Why? Why did you wear your fancy elbow weights? Only a couple more. One more, one more. Nice job, you guys. Building those wings on our back. Let's me check my time one more time. Okay, we're gonna do some floor shoulder shrugs. If you are an aerialist, you know what a shoulder shrug looks like. If you're not, it looks like this. You're hanging and you shrug down. So I'm squishing my little animal friend on my shoulder, but I don't want to squish them. So I'm going to give them space to sit and be, yeah, and be our friend. Exactly. Don't make faces. We're, we're letting the thing live. So we're going to do those, but on the floor. What I mean by that is I'm going to start face down. My hands are going to press as hard as they can into the ground. I'm going to drag my shoulders down my back really pushing with my hands as hard as I can to get traction and resistance while I try to track pretty much my lats down my back and achieve that same position standing. And then I'm going to release. This is actually easier if you have carpet because it provides like more of a grip. because we're trying to simulate what it feels like to actually be hanging and putting effort into our shoulders. Yeah? Let's get on the ground and do it together. We're gonna count five seconds. I'm gonna count, we're gonna engage down for five seconds, squeeze, and then release. We're gonna do this five times, okay? Assume your position. You are squishing your little animal friend. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, squeeze, and release. One, two, three, four, five, squeeze. And release. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze, squeeze, and release. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze, and release. One more time. Really, really pulling. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze, squeeze those shoulders down your back. Think about extending your neck nice and long. How much space can you create? Just here on the ground. And release. Okay, nice job. We have one last thing, and it is for our arms. And I need my timer to cooperate for this. We're gonna do just little, little arm circles, forwards and backwards. The smallest circles that you can do. So our arms are gonna be out. We're just gonna do tiny, tiny little rotations for 30 seconds. So this should feel exhausting after 30 seconds. Ready? <laughs> Let's start. You're like, you're like, maybe I'm gonna take flight, but I can't quite get there. So I'm just gonna flap just a little bit. Or maybe your armpits are stinky and you're just trying to air them out. Yes, keep going, little circles. Thinking about keeping your arms on the same plane as you're making your airplane arms. <laughs> okay, ready? We're gonna switch and we're gonna go backwards. Little tiny baby backstrokes. You're not, you're not gonna get really far, but you can still get there. And that's what matters, you guys. <laughs> you're all doing so awesome. I feel like I'm leading one giant airplane extravaganza. Keep going, keep going. These tiny little circles, tiny little circles. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. We're just gonna keep it going a little bit longer. Ready, and release. Yay! And that's all I have for you. Hopefully it was new and challenging and maybe you're sweating as much as I am. Yes, okay. I'm gonna pass it over to Janelle to cool us all down. Hi everybody, um, Staza. I really appreciated your like stand-up comedy workout situation. I hear <laughs> that you're very. Funny. Um, okay, we're gonna do 
soft noodly things instead of hard muscly things, you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and actually start standing up. I'm just gonna turn sideways so y'all can see, but you can face any direction that you like for this. We're gonna stand with the feet a little wider than hip distance apart. And let's actually just spend a moment leaning forward and digging our toes in, and then leaning back and lengthening through the back of the body. Feeling our weight grounding into our feet, we can kind of roll the feet in little circles here. Good, and then once your feet are nice and big and wide and pressing into the ground, we're gonna let the chin come to the chest. Imagine that you're holding heavy milk jugs in each hand, and so your head and your arms are gonna lead as you roll down through your spine, keeping the legs straight as long as you can. If you reach to the ground, that's okay. You can just let your arms crumple, let the top of your head sink down, and then gently bend your knees tuck your tail and roll up. Two more of those on your own time, catching your breath, feeling the opening sensation in the back of the shoulders, especially after those arm circles that we did, letting those muscles get long again. As low as you can, letting the head be super heavy like a weight here. Bend the knees, tuck the tail, roll up. We're gonna do one more of those, getting length through the whole back of the body. And then bend your knees, roll on up. Beautiful. We're gonna plant the feet nice and wide. You don't have to move your feet if you already have them nice and wide. And we're just gonna do big hip circles. We did some of these at the beginning of class actually, which is coincidental. Um, just notice if they feel different now that you're warm. Hopefully you can feel them being softer. Your muscles are working together a little more. Any like clicking or clunking that was happening, maybe it's gone now. So just pay attention to the change that doing all of this hard work has made in your body and appreciate that. And then same thing, other direction, hip circles. Good, and then bring the hips to the center. We're gonna reach one arm straight up. Sorry, I know you can't see the top of my head. My living room is very small. Uh, we're gonna bring one arm straight up. Reach it so high that we feel our deltoid touching our earlobe, just like squishing that baby animal that Saza was talking about. And then keep squishing the baby animal, feel your ribs open up to the side, and then keep reaching so that you come up and over to a big side stretch. We did a lot for our abs, we did a lot for our back muscles and our side core here. So this should feel like a very much appreciated lengthening. You can support yourself with your arm on your opposite side leg if you need a little bit of extra support so the stretch doesn't feel too intense. If you want more stretch, you can reach that bottom hand down like you're trying to touch your ankle. And then reach the arm long to come up. Really reach at the top, bring that arm down. And then just notice how different the two sides of the body feel. I usually feel like I'm standing like this after I did that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, bring that arm up. Extend, 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 delta to earlobe. Reach, squish that animal that's sitting on your shoulder and then up and over to the side. Big side stretch, supporting yourself with that hand on your leg. Either grabbing the calf and straightening the arm for extra support or lowering and reaching that hand down toward the ankle. Making sure that the hips are pointed forward and that the chest is pointed forward. And then reach long to come up. Reach, reach, reach at the top and bring it down. Nice. We're gonna come down to the ground. I'm gonna move my camera so you can see better. Good job so far, you guys. We're gonna stretch out our arms and shoulders. So let's start with the forearms. We're gonna turn the fingers to face towards our knees and then drape our hands onto the ground. The further that you bring your shoulders behind your wrists here, the greater the stretch is gonna be in the forearms. So you can kind of experiment with that. You can move around a little bit. 
And then all together, we're gonna press just our thumbs really hard into the ground, just the thumbs. And then release the thumbs and press just the pointer fingers. And then release the pointer fingers and press just the middle fingers into the ground. Release the middle fingers, press the ring fingers. Release the ring fingers, press just the pinky fingers into the ground. Release those and come on out of there. You can move your arms around, shake them out. Good. We're gonna do a stretch for the back of our shoulders and then a stretch for our pecs. So for the back of our shoulders, we're gonna take our hand out like we're serving a platter. We're gonna bring it across and serve the platter to somebody way diagonal from us, elbow stays straight. We're gonna take the opposite side hand and snag that elbow with the elbow. Good, so I'm holding below the wide part of the elbow joint of this hand so that I have a lot of like uh, traction and grip with this hand. And then I can squeeze that arm towards me a little bit. If I want a little more stretch, I take the top hand and put it gently on the top of my deltoid and I'll push gently down with this hand and lift up with my elbow. And you can kind of just move around in here and find spots in your shoulder that feel good. You can also experiment with turning the arm in and out in the socket and see if you find a line that needs a little extra stretch for you. Good, and then same thing other side. Serving the platter, snag the elbow, Squeeze. Press the deltoid down, lift the elbow up. Should feel this a little bit in the tricep here. And you can kind of just move around, find what feels good for you. And you can also turn that arm in and out of the socket. Good, and then come on out of there, shake it out. Um, you can either be on your knees like this, or if you feel more comfortable or if that puts pressure on your knees. I did a lot with my knees today, so I'm going to sit flat on my booty. Um, but whichever is more comfortable for you is fine. We're going to take one hand and palm down. We're going to slide it underneath our butt. So it's either flat on the floor or it's on your calf. Either way is all right. We're going to keep this elbow long and straight. We're really going to keep weight on this hand, and then we're going to tip our head away from the arm that's long. So we're getting this nice stretch in the side of the neck. If you realize that you need to kind of tuck your hand further under to get more stretch, go ahead and do that. But we want the weight being on the arm to increase the stretch in the side of the neck. And then you can tip your chin to your collarbone and chin to ceiling. Collarbone, ceiling, and center. Take that arm out. Notice how different your two shoulders feel. If you can see yourself in your camera, you might even see a difference in where your shoulders are sitting here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, tucking that hand way underneath you and stretching the side of the neck and the top of the shoulder. Tucking your chin to your collarbone and ceiling, collarbone, ceiling, and collarbone, and center. Good. You don't have to turn which direction you're facing. I'm just turning so that you can see. Um, you can be seated or standing, whatever works for you. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back and press your palms together, straightening the arms down the back. If you arched your back to get here, that's totally fine, but see if you can reorganize it so that your ribs are stacked right over your hips. And then you're gonna lift those arms as far away from you as you can while resisting the temptation to lean forward. Very, very nice. Good. And then you can bring your hands down, let the palms come apart, but keep the fingers interlaced and lift again. It should feel slightly different. It might go slightly higher. Beautiful, beautiful. And come on out of there, shake that out. Let me double check how we're doing for time. I would hate to make you work out for even one moment longer than you're supposed to. Okay, we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna do a little lungy sequence. Um, so we're gonna put one leg in front, one leg behind, obviously. 
press to a straight front leg. Ideally, you'll have your hands on the floor. If your hands do not reach the floor here, that is okay. Um, you can use some furniture. I realized that I didn't say you needed blocks, so if you don't have blocks, that's on me. I apologize. You can use stacks of books or cats or something else. Um, and then you're going to come forward to a lunge. You can keep your chest forward on your thigh and then back to the straight front leg, trying to keep the chest low the whole time here. Just moving through these positions in the hips. Good. And then same thing, other side. Starting in the straight front leg and lunge. And straight front leg, lunge, and straight front leg, and lunge, and straight front leg. Beautiful. Come on out of there. We'll come to a W shape, bring one leg up and over. Strongly point or strongly flex the foot that is up on top of that knee. You're going to bring the bottom foot in as close to your booty as possible. And then if you'd like more stretch, you can walk your chest up towards your shin, undoing all of those squat jumps. Well, not undoing them, but stretching out the muscles that might be really, really sore later. You can wave your legs side to side like a windshield wiper here if that gives you a nice stretching sensation in the outside of that bent hip. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, very last thing I promise for our little back. You're gonna lie on your belly. You're gonna put one arm straight out to the side in line with your shoulder or slightly higher, but not any lower. Whichever arm is out, the opposite side leg is gonna come up and over like you wanna touch your foot to your hand. So you're getting this nice twist in the spine and a stretch in the front of the pec. Relax your neck and let your head rest gently on the floor. Breathing air, appreciating all the hard work that you just did. And then come back to your belly. Same thing, other side, the arm is gonna go straight out in line with the shoulder or slightly higher than the shoulder. I'm gonna run into a chair if I do that here. There we go. And then the opposite side leg comes up and over, getting that nice twist in the spine, relaxing the neck, Letting the head be heavy on the ground here. Stretching the front of the pec and also maybe the hip and also maybe the back. You'll feel this first wherever you're tightest. And then come on out of there. Do we have one more minute for one more thing? Sorry, it's not showing me the time. It's 6.32, but if it's oh. quick, you should just do it. Last, last thing I promise. Thank you, Cressy. My thing was just like not pulling the timer up. Uh, we're gonna be in a nice tabletop position, arching the back, lifting the head towards the booty, and then pressing the spine up, pulling the belly button away, getting a lot of the length here. Again, squishing the deltoids to the earlobes. Here, we're trying to put the belly button on the floor and the head and the butt on the ceiling. Just a couple more of these and we will be done. Good. And you're done. Thanks, you guys. Sorry, I kept saying that was the last thing and then I did something else because it felt like we needed it. So I appreciate you bearing with me. Good work.